is Miss Danny from the Pleasant Hills Public Library, and welcome to Alphabet Adventures, our newest virtual story time series where every week we talk about a different letter in the alphabet. So last week we talked about the letter A. Do you remember how to make A in American Sign Language? You take your hand, you put your fingers down and your thumb beside it, and that is an A. Today, we're gonna talk about a different letter in the alphabet, but before we can get to our stories and songs, we have to get some of those extra wiggles out. So I hope you will join me in singing our hello song. Mr. Monkey and I are going to wave our arms really big, and I'd like you to do that at home too. Are you ready? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Terrific! Now, let's clap our hands. Hello, everybody, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hello, everybody, and clap your hands. Clap your hands today. Fantastic! And now, Let's stomp our feet. Hello, everybody, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Hello, everybody, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet today. Very good. Now, my friends, do you think that we can stomp our feet super duper fast? Yeah, you want to give it a try? Let's do it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Fast! Whoa, freeze! That was really, really fast. So now let's do the opposite. What is the opposite of fast? You're right. It's slow. So let's do some slow stomping. <laughs> Very good. And now let's try stomping our feet big and loud. Are you ready? So last time we counted up to three. This time let's count down from three. Are you ready, friends? Three, two, one. Big and loud! Oh, freeze! Oh, that was so loud I could hear you all the way over here. <laughs> now let's try the opposite. What is the opposite of big and loud? Hmm. You're so smart. That's right. It's small and so let's do some tiptoe stomping. Very good. All right, friends, now our bodies are wiggle free and ready for stories and songs. But first, it's time for Mr. Monkey's mystery bag. Inside Mr. Monkey's mystery bag are a couple different objects that start with the letter of the day. Let's see if we can figure out what letter we're going to talk about today. Are you ready, Mr. Monkey? All right, what do you have in here? Oh, my. Do you know what this is? It's a bumblebee. Hmm, bumblebee. What letter does that start with? Hmm. Ooh, what else is in here? Oh, oh my. Do you know what this is? Let me see if I can turn him around so you can see him better. It's a bat. Bat. Hmm. They like to hang upside down. Bat. What letter does that start with? Hmm. Oh, there's a couple other things in here. Where's... Oh, what's this, Mr. Monkey? Huh. A big red ball. Hmm, ball. What letter does ball start with? Hmm. Oh, I see one more thing in here. Who's this? It's a bear. He's a nice bear though, don't worry. Bear. Hmm, what letter does bear start with? Hmm, have you figured it out yet? Our letter of the day is B. B, 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 B. And 
there's a couple other fun things on our picture that weren't in Mr. Monkey's mystery bag. We have a baboon blowing bubbles. Now there are many, many wonderfully beautiful words that start with the letter B, such as blue, the color of the background. And can you tell what's on my dress today? Books! Books and blue and bubbles and baboons and bears and bumblebees. And the sound bumblebees make too. Buzz and balls. And what else we didn't talk about? Butterflies or buns. Do you like a bun on your hot dog or your hamburger? What sound does B make? Ba, ba, baboon. Ba, ba, bubbles. Ba, ba, blue. Ba, ba, books. Can you make that sound with me? Ba, ba, baboon. Ba, ba, bubbles. Ba, ba, blue. And ba, ba, books. Good job, friends. And now, friends, we're ready for our stories and songs that feature the letter B. Our first story today features a bat and butterflies. This is Benny's True Colors, written by Noreen Paulson, illustrated by Anne Pashir, and read today with permission from Macmillan Publishing. I like the bright pink that's on the inside. And there's our friend Benny. Benny looks like all the other little brown bats in the park. He has a brown furry body, webbed wings, and pointed ears. So there were a couple more B words on that page, brown and body. But Benny isn't a bat. Bats sleep upside down in dark places, but Benny likes warm sunshine better. At night, bats fly around eating bugs, and Benny hates the taste of bugs. Oh, and they have all those little squirmy legs. Yuck! Yes, on the outside, Benny looks like a bat, but on the inside, Benny knows he is really a butterfly. Most nights, while Mama feasts on flying insects, Benny dreams about a silky soft body, fluttering patterned colorful wings, and long curling antennae. At bedtime, Mama always says, I love you, Benny. Then she goes to sleep for the day while Benny flies off to the butterfly garden to practice his butterfly moves. But day after day, his wings flap instead of flutter, his ears twitch instead of curl, and when he tries to land upright, ouch! Are you okay? asks Penelope. The butterfly. Yes, uh, well, I mean, no. Benny can't stop staring at her outstretched, beautifully patterned wings. Why? Penelope asks. Uh, I'm a butterfly like you, so I, I want colorful patterned wings to flutter when I fly, like yours. I want my outside to match who I am inside, he says. And Benny covers his face. He waits for the butterflies to laugh at him. But he doesn't hear anything. He peeks out to see all the butterflies fluttering their wings, waving their antennae, encouraging him to follow them. The rest of the day, and each day after that, they help him practice. No matter what he does, they cheer for him. What good friends. One night, as other bats swoop through the air, gobbling mosquitoes and beetles and moths, Benny tells Mama that he has an idea. Mama hugs him and says, I'm here for you. The next day, Benny asks his friends, will you help me? Penelope and the other butterflies listen closely while Benny tells them his plan. 
Well, you're already one of us, says Penelope. You, you don't have to change anything. Oh, I know, says Benny. I'm doing this for me. The next morning, Penelope is waiting in the garden with three caterpillars. They measure Benny from the tip of his nose to the tip of his wings. Well, asked Penelope. Well, our silk is the strongest, says one caterpillar. The best of the best, agrees another. Oh, I think it'll work, cries the third. Ready? Penelope asks Benny. Hmm, I wonder what they're going to do. Ready, Benny says. Hmm. What's going to happen next? Well, then he hangs upside down while the caterpillars, using their special silk, weave a snug cocoon around his body. Before falling asleep, Benny hears Mama say, I love you. Inside the silk and under watchful eyes, Benny slowly changes. His webbed wings split into colorful patterned scales. His ears lengthen and narrow into antennae. And when all the changes are done, Benny wiggles free. Everyone cheers as Benny flutters his new wings, gently unfurls his antennae, and takes a short, graceful hop into the air. Wow, Benny is beautiful. When he sees Mama, Benny squeaks loudly, I love you, Mama! Oh, Benny, I always have and always will love you, she says. So in that story, Benny believed he was a butterfly. So he practiced and he worked and he made his dreams come true. There were a lot of other fun B words in this book as well. Brown, body, bugs. Did I forget any? Hmm. Next, friends, we are going to sing a song about a bear. It goes to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? Before we sing, why don't you look around? See if you can find any bears nearby. And you can use them as a prop while we sing. If you don't have a bear nearby, that's okay. One hand can be the bear in our song. To begin, we're going to hide our bear. Are you ready? Where is bear? Where is bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Now, why are we telling our bear to go to sleep in the winter? Do you know what bears do in the winter? They hibernate, which is a fancy way of saying they sleep for a really long time. Now, let's sing that song again, but first, we have to wake up our bear. Will you help me? Let's shout, wake up, bear, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up, bear! <gasps> Oh, I'm awake now. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's sing again. <laughs> Where is Bear? Where is Bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Shh. Let's let him sleep. Our next story, friends, features a bounty of B words. This is the Berenstein's B book, written and illustrated by Stan and Jan Berenstein, and read today with permission of Penguin Random House. So let's see how many B words we recognize. Big brown. Big brown bear just like the one we sang about. Big brown bear and a blue bull. Looks like he's tapping him on the shoulder. Big brown bear, blue bull, and beautiful baboon. Hmm, what is 
that baboon dressed as? A ballerina. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, biking backwards. That's very hard to do. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, biking backwards, bump. Uh-oh. Bam! What happened? Ooh, big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, backing backwards, bump black bugs, banana boxes. Oh dear. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, biking backwards, bump black bugs, banana boxes, and Billy Bunny's bread basket. Pop. Oh dear. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, biking backwards, bump black bugs, banana boxes, and Billy Bunny's bread basket, and Brother Bob's baseball bus. Boink. Oh dear. Boom. Big brown bear, blue bull, beautiful baboon, blowing bubbles, biking backwards, bump black bugs, banana boxes, and Billy Bunny's bread basket, and Brother Bob's baseball bus, and Buster Beagle's banjo bagpipe bugle band. Oh. And that's what broke baby bird's balloon. We talked about a lot of B words today, friends, huh? Bear, bat, butterfly, ball, bubbles, baboon, blue, book, balloon, bird, and there's so, so many more. I want you to think about some more B words and see if you can find anything near you that starts with the letter B. And now, friends, let's learn how to make the letter B in American Sign Language. Start by putting your hand up and your fingers together. Take your thumb, cross it over, and put it on your palm. Now you've made the letter B. Do you remember how to do the letter A? A. B. Very good. Let's review all the letters in the alphabet by singing the ABC song together. You can clap out the beat, you can tap out the beat, or you can stomp the beat. It's up to you. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. Well, thanks for joining me today, friends, and I hope you enjoyed our story time. Tune in next week for a brand new Alphabet Adventures story time featuring a new letter of the alphabet. Before we leave today, let's sing our goodbye song. So look around and find someone or something to hug. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! See you next time, friends. Bye! Ooh, bye! Another good B word. <laughs>